Hey guys, welcome to Comfy Cozy Up. So today is a mini haul. And a mini haul because a lot of what I wanted is gonna be a month before I get it where they didn't have it in stock and I'm gonna have to do it online. So shopping wasn't that much fun this time around compared to last year. But it is what it is. But the number one item I wanted, I did get. So let's start with the books. And I went ahead and picked up the love song of W.E.B. The Boys. So I got this because I knew I was going to read it, of course. It is a family saga, um, which I love. I'm not intimidated by the size at all. Um, but it's just because it's such a popular book. I don't really like reading popular books when everyone's reading it because I get my hopes up and then oftentimes... I don't love it like everyone else and I feel like the odd one out talking about it so that's why I always wait so I'm gonna wait till the end of November and during the beginning of vlogmas to read this um, so that will be me talking about it because I will have more time I'm off I think about three weeks in December usually um, so I have a lot of free time to sit down and read this and then I vlog every day to vlogmas so I will share my thoughts on it but i'll probably start it maybe thanksgiving week because I, I have that week off too so we'll see um i have high hopes so i'm hoping i don't get disappointed but yeah the next book is also a popular book that i've been putting off and going to finally get to it the profit so this is another one that's everywhere it's on the national book award finalists and um it's been talked about and of course one of my fave marlon james love it so and i am going to see who else i like on here that blurb it hmm. yeah so i'm gonna read this probably again in the november december situation before the year ends then I am still waiting for my Saga 10. I was hoping it was out. It is not out yet. Apparently it won't be out till the beginning of next year. So they say. But until then I decide I need to finish Paper Girls. So I got volume 3 and 4. I've read volume 1 and 2. Right? One. Yes. I'm looking at it now on my shelf. Volume 1 and 2, so I want to continue. I think it's six books in the series. I'm, I can't remember. Of course, I got to take these sticker off because why is the sticker it's smack dead in the middle of the doggone thing? Yeah, not happy about this. So this is going to be read very soon. Um, I, I love graphic novel. I typically try to read a couple a year, but um, I haven't found any other series that I like so far besides Saga. Um paper girls and there's some other ones that were in series they're just standalone but if you have some really good um graphic novel that you want me to read recommend i need ones that's easy to get because that's another thing some of these graphic novels are not that easy to get your hands on so give me ones that you think i will be able to go into you know most bookstore or order online and get it so yeah and that's it for the books guys there are some other books that I receive from people, but I'm going to do that separate because that's not, I don't consider birthday a haul. Then I also picked up, went back to yours truly, and I got some ink, guys. It's called Bluegrass Velvet, and look at the packaging. This is ink, guys. This is ink. And so, of course, off and this color, I had a sample of it and I really love the sample and I've been using it so much there's not much left in there so I decided I want the full bottle and guys, uh, so this is Ferris Wheel Press and this color is just amazing. I love it. I've been using it a lot in some of my um, my regular pen as well as my dip, my dip, um, my regular fountain pen um, and my 
the dip glass pens I've been using with and I like the consistency it's not too light but it's not too heavy um, so it stays on the dip pen for much longer than some um, ink so I was there for it so now I just need to collect the red one these are not cheap guys these are not cheap but this thing will last a very long time so I know I don't have to I won't need to buy ink for a long long time <laughs> because this jar is so huge so I am excited for that now to the last this is how quick this thing is because you know so this is something I've always wanted since I was a probably about 10 when I learned how to use one and it was part of like my childhood dream of stuff I wanted to do and then when I moved to America I think my dream got crushed for somebody said something to me I didn't like and I think it kind of dampered that but I realized that I should have asked for one and had I asked for one I probably would have got one especially as time went on when these when these machines now were smaller so you know I like DIY so think of a DIY machine a toy that I don't have and you can easily guess so guess quick before I show you so all right wait up so I bought one of these suckers so this is the heavy duty singer so this is I can't hold up too long guys but this is um meant for thicker fabric denim um wool um um velvet like much thicker fabric which is why i wanted this versus like a traditional regular one now there is one i really want but i feel like i want to play with this first because this wasn't expensive i was surprised how inexpensive this was for for what it is and um so i was glad that i didn't have to spend that much money on it and so i decided to play with this because i feel like if i do the rookie mistake of damaging it a little or something like that that I won't feel so bad. What I would say is what I learned to sew on um, when I was younger was the old school ones and they didn't have a lot of different stitch. You had really um, minimum stitch style versus this I believe this is said 110 different stitch style and I've been using it. What you guys didn't know is I did I purchased this two weeks before my birthday because I wanted to work on something and I tried, yeah, I had some early failures of not cutting the sizes good enough. So, but I did well on some stuff. For instance, when I did my journaling uh, video, that skirt I made, when I did my wrap up, that denim skirt I made, also for my birthday, that wrap velvet skirt the asymmetric um, shape of that skirt was fun to do that I made so um, I just wanted to try things and see if I can make my own um, things to fit my own body that is fun and I can be creative um, and that's just it it's just a personal um, thing that just something I wanted to do when I was younger I was like I wanted to make my own stuff and try doing this and that and there's so many things I want to make I did do basic uh, um, travel pouch for like when I go to my parents house I made a couple of those which you know I could store things in zip it up um, I did make some other stuff I just haven't worn them yet and I have another major product um, outfit that I'm working on which is going to be from this silk thing. And I have earrings. Yes, earrings that I am working on that is going to be from a uh, faux leather and design that I have envisioned that I know I couldn't really do if I wanted to do by hand, it just to me, it wouldn't be as sturdy as sewing it. I also have headband that I have been doing <laughs> Um, that I saw so it's a multi-purpose thing that is just fun 
I'm enjoying it. I get excited when I do something and it comes out right, especially working with zippers and knowing some zippers are not for some material. <laughs> and when it actually works right, I get super excited. Um, and I also haven't said much until the weekend when it was uh, my birthday when I told my mother because I was literally doing all of this and not saying nothing about it um, because it's more like I wanted to make sure that I can, um, you know, get stuff right. What I can say is I had good memory. For some reason, it just felt like I've been doing this my entire life. It, that's how easy it came to me. And that's because I still remember how much I loved doing it when I was very young. And um, I had an aunt that sold. I had a uh, next door neighbor who was a seamstress as well. And I had several other people I knew who that's what they did for a living. So I was exposed to this. So this is nothing new. Uh, my mom also was telling me, which I didn't know, that my grandmother used to sew as well. Um, had no idea. So that's, I guess it was in, <laughs> in my jeans. Um, but it's just so much fun to try and to um, not take it seriously because it's just for me. Even though, you know, there's always somebody that's already like, can you, can you make me this? <laughs> Or can you fix this? I'm not in business. Okay, this is not a business. This is my toy for myself, and I'm enjoying it. It's the best, the best, absolute best birthday gift to myself, and I am going to continue uh, playing with it, creating all that good stuff. So yes, guys, this is the end. Of, oh, and it comes with this really nice case so I can travel with it. So this was pretty cool that I got it with the case, the travel, travel bagger, and, um, and some others. It's all kind of accessories stuck in here and all kind of stuff. So, yeah, guys, that is it. That is my mini haul. And, uh, yeah, can't you see? I love my birthday stuff. I love my birthday stuff. And I am looking forward to the other things that should be coming in a month. An entire month. <laughs> so, those when they come in, I'll shoot them in another video. So, thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye.